Hi guys, it's Ray. Um, I am going to do a picture frame quick. I'm going to stick with the beach theme for this one. I was going to do something else, but then I questioned the colors I was going to do. And I'm going to embellish it a little bit. But I'm missing half of my beachy embellishments and I don't really have that big a space and I have no idea where they could possibly be. So I'm just going to work with what I've got. I'm going to do this different than I do the other beach stuff you've seen from me. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I don't have my epoxy pre-mixed. I'm going to mix my resin in a silicone cup which is marked I have it marked in the 40 and 80 milliliter line so I'm gonna go ahead and mix one part of each I have this resin in a FIFO bottle makes it easier to measure and pour just give it a squeeze in and that's my 40 for that I always put my part B in first and then my part A. I like to mix in one cup. Some people prefer to measure in two separate cups and pour them both into a third cup. I can't be bothered with all that. Okay. So, I'm going to stir somewhat slowly. I'm not terribly worried about bubbles because I will be hitting this with heat. And it's pretty warm in here so it shouldn't be difficult to mix. I don't normally show you this step. I usually come in with the resin done but sometimes it's not bad to see or if you're new to see. Make sure you get the bottom and the sides. I stop and wipe the stick a couple times. I'm just using a big popsicle stick for this because these cups are larger. Tongue depressor size. And if you're experienced in mixing, you'll know when it's mixed, but it should flow smoothly off the stick. And I can see the color change happened. It's back to clear. It turns sort of um, milky for the first couple of seconds when you start to mix. Again, make sure you get your bottoms and your sides really well. Some people mix super, super slow to get no bubbles. I'm not one of those. I don't really worry about the bubbles. Okay, so for this, I am going to mix paint into the mixed epoxy. I'm going to use medicine cups for that, and I think I'm going to do uh, I think I'm going to do two browns to get a little bit of a mixture. And then maybe I'll do, I'm going to need one for a little bit of white, but that can just be a little bit. And then I'll do maybe four different blues for this one. And I'm probably mixing way more epoxy than I need but I haven't done this size frame so I'm not entirely sure and I know I'm gonna have some spill off the sides and whatnot so okay <clears throat> 
this I just set to the side when it dries. I'll flip it inside out and peel any excess epoxy out. They clean up really easily. I prefer mixing in them, less waste. I'm going to go ahead and use my Sea Paint Secrets for this. So it doesn't take a lot of paint. If you put too much paint in the epoxy, when you mix it, it'll get stringy and unworkable. So you just want a little bit. And when you're working with paint in your epoxy, you do want to move a little bit quicker. I don't really need that much for that. So I'm going to pour a little bit more of that back in a blue cup. The secrets are a little bit thinner than a regular paint, so you can use a tiny bit more than if you were using like an acrylic paint. For the white, I'm going to use their actual white paint because I am, I don't have any of my white secret handy. I also just quickly painted the frame in this color, so I'm just going to dip a little bit out. And I'm also going to use this time, this is Pinata White Alcohol Ink, it's just poured into my refill bottle. We'll see if I can actually get any out. I'll give it a couple drops of that. Pinata brand by Jacquard. Set that to the side a minute. I did tape this off. You usually see me work without taping off um, because I'm trying to avoid too much getting down in here where I have to clean up in a tight space. I'm going to use this color. I use a navy, a lighter color, and then I want one more. I'll use this one. So, a little bit in each cup. And again, this is not how I normally do my beaches, so we'll see how it comes out. I decided to paint it instead of leave it the plain wood um, just because I'm not going directly onto it with the color and I didn't want any space that doesn't get color will be fine with the white but I felt like the wood might stick out a bit so that was why I went to that way doing it this method I'm not sure how the um, how the white's going to work for waves. So, we'll see. You don't know until you try. I do have some little bits of colored, like, faux sea glass here. And a couple little jars of shells. And a couple little baggies of shells. That's my trimmings from my tape when I painted. And then I have a jar of actual beach sand that I'm gonna use a little bit of. I hate using my own sand, but I 
haven't found a good craft sand that I actually like yet. So I've been using this sand. So whoever gets this piece will have a little bit of my daughter's vacation trip to Cape Cod. Just going to have these things ready in case I actually get that far. I am going to put gloves on. You don't want the epoxy touching your skin if you can avoid it. Some people do have a topical reaction to it. So I'm going to start and try and get these little cups more to the corners. So it can flow around them, not onto them. And I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with the browns. I'm going to mix it again. And I think I'm just going to do even. The strips. I'm not going to try and do any funky dimensions. And I think I want this sand to come up just past the bottom of where the picture will go. This frame doesn't have a hanger on the back. It only has the stand on the center, so I don't have to worry about what's the top and what's the bottom. If you have one that you have to worry about what's the top and what's the bottom, be conscientious of that. And I do want this to flow off the edges, at least somewhat. So I'm gonna pour it fairly heavy. And I'm going to start on my blues. I'm going to run that in navy. And then I'm going to overlap a little bit. With the next one. I'm working on top of a silicone mat, so all of this overflow will um, peel right off once it hardens. It'll come off like a skin. I'm going to bring a little bit more of this in and down a little further. I do want to make sure I have enough to cover the paint. The paint mixed in the epoxy is going to be a little more opaque than had I painted the frame beach themed like I've done in past projects you've seen. So. It'll have a little bit of a different effect. I'm going to see if it'll run a little bit this way. Just to fill some more of that in. Give it a little bit of a tilt. Now I am getting epoxy in my hands. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of the white spots. Make sure I got the center covered. All the way around. I was hoping that I would have enough, but not too much. If you need to, you can dip in the overflow to fill in the sides. So 
out of the way so I can reach this side. Now, I don't really have enough of the light on this side dripped off, so I'm going to grab some from the other side. Okay. And I'm going to put a little more of the dark brown in there just to fill. To fill across the bottom. Scoop a little bit up. Now, I'm going to heat this gently because I don't want all of my resin to run off. And I can't see how I did on this edge, so I'm going to turn it for a minute and scoop up some of the dark to fill. Okay, I'm going to take these gloves off. I'm going to grab a baby wipe and just wipe where I touched my wrist real quick. I'm going to hit it with my heat gun. This is just an embossing tool. Just to get it a little more fluid. The heat gun will move the resin more than the torch will. Okay. So there's that. I think I've got you slightly out of frame here on the bottom. See if I can wiggle it up a little without touching it too much. I don't really want to get resin all over my hands, but I don't want new gloves on yet either. All right. So next step is bringing in that white we'll see what it does on non-clear it may just absorb right in and mix with the color or it may do what i want it to do Um, when you mix the paint in the resin, you get a slightly different color than when you paint it. Because all of those colors were used in this piece. So you get just a slightly different look. Not to say that there's anything wrong with that. I think I'm going to hit this with the torch. It may smoke a little. I'll try not to torch versus um, heat gun, you need to be, move it much faster.
If you hold it in one place, it will bubble and boil. As you can probably see it's doing. That will also discolor the resin if you get it too much. So. It's not creating the same wave effect as it does on <clears throat> the clear. So I'm going to switch to the heat gun and just work the lines down a little bit so they're not as harsh. So you do get a different effect with the white over wet mixed resin versus just the clear over the colored base. It's not going to create the cells and lacing like it does on a painted surface. This was painted on the board underneath if you saw the video for that. So the white kind of floats on top versus mixing in here. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the way this looks, just a different effect entirely. So I may just add a little more white and let it mix in a little bit. did push more of that navy off the top than I really wanted to. So I'm going to go ahead, since I have a little bit more in the cup, and just drizzle a little bit more of that back in. I'm just going to let that sit like that for a few minutes while I embellish the bottom. I'm going to embed some of these things into the resin. I'm going to go ahead and put a glove back on just so if I touch it or if I touch anything I'm not getting it on my hands. I'm going to bring the cup with a little bit of clear back over. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of the sand over it. Not a ton, just... Like that. And I spilled this grain. I'm going to dump a couple of shells in a baggie into the cup just to make them accessible. I'm not going to use all of those. Those ones, those ones placed themselves because they're just tiny ones. Now, if I think there's enough resin there to hold, I don't have to, but I'm going to add just a tiny bit to the back of the bigger ones, just to ensure they get a good bond to the piece. And if I wanted, when this is cured, I could put a little saying or a quote on the top with vinyl. You know, beach days, our beach vacation. Whatever I thought. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit around too. I 
got these ones, which are a little bigger, too. If I can get one out. Of course, they want to be stubborn, and I know I have a drawer of these open somewhere. There we go. They just needed a little bit of coaxing. Yeah, see that? I feel like it's going to need some resin as I glue. And this one's these little black spirally shells. The only thing I've used that didn't really work the way I wanted it to was a sand dollar will soak up the resin. I learned. So if you're going to use a sand dollar, you kind of have to be prepared to give it a full second coat to entirely encase the thing. And then it's not going to look as natural. It's going to have a bit of a shine to it, obviously. <clears throat> I mean, it still works. It's just not, not like a hard, solid shell. And I'm going to go ahead and put some of this glass on there. If you do this and you use the glass, obviously, unless you're using actual sea glass, you might find some sharp pieces. If you find sharp pieces after the first layer of resin cures, you can pour over it or not worry about it. And I might use just a couple of the royal blue ones. I'll pop a color at the bottom. I don't want it to get too crazy. I think that'll do it. So that's how I'm going to embellish the bottom. And I'm just going to hit the top with a little bit of heat again to blend that white in just a tiny bit. <clears throat> that's it happy little beach frame if you have any questions feel free to ask comment like subscribe um if there's anything you want to see me make maybe uh somebody could suggest something that's not a beach because i seem to be stuck in a beachy rut these days um let me know thanks bye